Welcome back to Weatherbug here on this Thursday. Meteorologist Todd Nelson. A look at that National Coast to Coast forecast. Our latest storm system in terms of severe weather and snowfall really left quite a mess from the Texas Panhandle all the way up now into the northeast. And you're looking at some snow video that we've uh, gotten a hold of here over the last few days. This is out in New York City where it was snowing and seeing a little bit of that light snow uh, yet again for the late weekend, I'm thinking. Here's some other images where heavy snow fell throughout the Ohio Valley. So pretty warm down in the southeast, but other than Florida, it was quite chilly. Look at these daytime highs, 32 only in Dallas-Fort Worth, 21 in Denver. We had 11 in Bismarck, 6 in International Falls, and then single digits and teens below zero for daytime highs just north of the international border. So just about everybody below average. Behind the front and by several degrees, today will be even colder. Look at that, feeling the effects of that warm or cold front, even as far south as uh, southern Florida. So what we know about the Christmas tornado outbreak is that we had a total of 40 preliminary tornado reports from East Texas all the way to Alabama. There were a couple of fatalities with that. I believe one in Texas and also one in Louisiana, both trees falling on uh, some people. Now, yesterday we had wind damage reports along that same storm system just southwest of Jacksonville, and then three tornado reports southwest of Hatteras, kind of on the southern side of the Outer Banks. But other than that, it was quiet. Looking ahead through tomorrow, we do have a, a general thunderstorm risk in some of the same areas that were hit hard on Tuesday. At this point, it doesn't look like it's a major deal. We'll keep you up to date, but rainfall tallies and precipitation tallies with the system were quite impressive on the order of uh, one, three, four inches, even seeing some hefty Rainfall tallies out near D.C., about an inch in New York and liquid, some of that form of snow, and then still continuing that heavy snowfall up across the uh, New England states here where the winter storm warnings are in place through late tonight and early Friday warning. So if your travels take you up to the northeast yet, uh, keep in mind that it might be a little slow going. Now take a look at this. This is the U.S. snow cover from earlier today as reported by NOAA's uh, department there, NOAA Horsk. Uh, but they were reporting about 64.7% of the nation covered up with snow. And earlier this month, only 6%. So what a difference a few weeks make. ECMWF showing our storm system moving out. Here comes our next potential of showers and storms down to the south. But also notice by late this weekend, develops into a nor'easter. We'll have to watch that one, especially if your travels take you out that way. And then maybe additional snowfall heading into the uh, middle part of next week down as far south as Texas once again. So things definitely looking interesting still as we round out the end of December and head into the early part of 2013, early next week. Week.